Now folks, the IRS said that Social Security and other federal beneficiaries are set to receive a stimulus check by or on April 7th, but it seems like the IRS has forgotten about you. The IRS Get My Payment tool is not showing any payment date, and there are no pending deposits in your bank account. Everybody, this is ridiculous, but please stay calm and be patient because I promise you this, stimulus checks will get to you very soon. Because as long as you have your eligibility requirements to receive a third stimulus check, you will definitely get one. Yes guys, if you do qualify for a payment, a $400 payment from the IRS, you will get a third stimulus check. But it's all a matter of when it's going to happen. There is some good news everybody, and this may not apply to everyone though. In the comment sections below, some of you have been sharing that the IRS Get My Payment tool never even updated with a payment date, but you still got your $400 stimulus check. Now there is definitely an error going on with the IRS Get My Payment tool because it has not updated any new payment status. And I just want all of you to know that it is possible for you to receive a stimulus check tomorrow, even if the Get My Payment tool is not showing anything. And the IRS needs to communicate better with the American people like you and I. There are millions of you on SSI, SSDI, and VA that have still not received a stimulus check. So tell me everybody down in the comments, who is to blame for holding back the stimulus? Is it the IRS or the Treasury Department? And let's get this video to 1,000 likes if you believe that the IRS must do a better job of sending out stimulus checks. Now the IRS needs to make a statement with new update information and answers to questions that we all have. Because right now it seems like the IRS does not even care about us. I know that some of you are seeing error messages when you check the IRS Get My Payment tool. And there are several possible reasons why you are receiving an error message. On the IRS website, it is stated that if the information you enter to verify your identity and Get My Payment doesn't match the records, you will receive an error message. I suggest double checking what the application is requesting and make sure what you enter is accurate everybody because according to the IRS, if you do enter information that does not match with the records three times within 24 hours, you're going to be kicked out of the Get My Payment for security reasons. And then you won't be able to access the application again after another 24 hours. And that would be terrible everybody. So please don't make that mistake. And if you are still seeing a payment status message not available, when you check the IRS Get My Payment tool. Just stay positive everybody and be patient. Like I said, it is very possible that you will receive a stimulus check even if the IRS Get My Payment tool does not update. According to the IRS, there's nothing to worry about. The Get My Payment application will say payment status not available for the following reasons. And that's either if you aren't eligible for a payment or the IRS doesn't have enough information to issue you a stimulus check. Now the majority of you are eligible to receive a third stimulus payment. According to legislation for the third round of checks, you will not need to take additional steps to receive the third stimulus check if you already receive federal benefits through any of these programs like SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and Veteran Affairs benefits. Now folks, just know this. The Social Security Administration and Direct Express have announced that if you did not submit a 2019 or 2020 tax return or use the 9 flyers tool in 2020 and you receive your monthly Social Security benefits, through Direct Express card, then it's likely that your third stimulus check will be added onto the Direct Express card. So folks, just keep checking to get my payment tool, your bank account, and mailboxes. We should be doing this outside. Good afternoon, everyone. I just visited a vaccination clinic in Virginia at the Virginia Theological Seminary in Alexandria, Virginia. The seminary and other houses of worship in the area are partnering with the community health centers uh, to offer vaccination and vaccination sites. They're seeing these kinds of partnerships. We're in, not just there, but we're seeing them all over the country. People are coming together across the different faiths to serve those most in need, with special focus on vaccinating seniors from all races, backgrounds, and walks of life. It's an example of America at its finest. And they're all meeting what Pope Francis calls the moral obligation. Get vaccinated, something which can, he went on to say, can save your life and the lives of others. And I was at the seminary clinic uh, to mark an important milestone as well. Yesterday, we crossed 150 million shots in 75 days, the first 75 days of my administration on our way to hitting our goal of 200 million shots by the 100th day in office. That, of course, is the new goal I set after passing the original mark of 100 million shots in my first 100 days, doing it in just 58 days. At the time, 
Some said 100 million shots was too ambitious. And then they said it wasn't ambitious enough. Well, we got to keep moving. If we could raise it up higher, I'd do that as well. But we know, we know what we have to do. We have to ramp up a whole of government approach that rallies the whole country and puts us on a war footing to truly beat this virus. And that's what we've been doing, getting enough vaccine supply, mobilizing more vaccinators, creating more places to get vaccinated. And we're now administering an average of 3 million shots per day, over 20 million shots a week. On Saturday alone, we reported more than 4 million shots were administered. We're the first country to administer 150 million shots and the first country to fully vaccinate over 62 million people. But here's the deal. I promise an update to the American people every 50 millionth shot. And I'm already back to update you a little over two weeks, two and a half weeks later. I promised in the beginning that I'd always give you the straight scoop, straight from the shoulder, the good and the bad. Well, here's the truth. The good news is we're on track to beat our goal of 200 million shots in the first 100 days. More than 75% of the people over the age of 65 have gotten shots, up from 8% when we took office. That's a dramatic turnaround and critical because seniors account for 80% of all COVID deaths. To help support my goal of safely reopening the majority of K-8 through schools by my 100th day in office, I directed states in early March to make educators and children, ch child care workers, eligible for vaccines and to get a goal of getting all who wanted the vaccination to be able to have one and to do it in the month of March. I'm pleased to report, according to CDC estimates, over 80 percent of teachers School staff, school staff, and child care workers received at least one shot by the end of March. And that's great progress protecting our educators, our essential workers. And because our vaccine program is in overdrive, we're making it easier to get a vaccination shot. Last week, I announced that by April 19th of this month, 90 percent of all Americans will be within five miles of a vaccination site. And further good news is that we're getting more and more data on just how effective the vaccines are. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I truly appreciate everyone's amazing support. Until next time, folks, have a great day and stay safe.